hi everyone and welcome back to a new spring decorating video i am so excited about today's video everything turned out so beautiful i tried to go with a ton of neutrals this time and everything just looks gorgeous i cannot wait to share the entire process with you i hope that this video gives you a ton of decorating inspiration and some ideas and all that fun stuff so let's just go ahead and get right into today's video Before we get into today's video, I just want to show a little bit of a preview of last week's video in case you missed it. I will leave a card up here so you can click on. I will also leave a clickable link down in my description box. You're also going to want to follow me over on my Instagram. I share a ton of stuff over there and make sure that you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, so let's get right into today's video. In last week's video, I painted my desk that sits in my office. I also painted this dresser. It has like my Cricut stuff and some printing paper and some stuff that I just have laying around in my office. Well, I ordered these beautiful furniture appliques and they came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and place them on the drawers. These are so pretty. And when if you decide to order some of these and they are not pliable enough for you you can just pop them in the microwave for a few seconds and they will soften up see right here on those drawers they're kind of um, not straight so they do need to be bendable and mine were not that bendable so I just kind of warmed them up for just a few minutes and then um, I was able to place them on here but these look so pretty i haven't painted them yet i just kind of placed them on here because i had other stuff to get to but they are just so gorgeous and i do get asked about my appliques all the time i have some beautiful appliques throughout my house and you're going to see here in this video what i used for my fireplace mantle but i'm going to go ahead and leave a link for these in my description box the store that i use i love using this store and they always have the best quality appliques Today I will be decorating the kitchen and the family room and I have the most fun decorating these two areas of my home. I did not want to turn this into a clean and decorate so I did go ahead and clean this kitchen and clear the countertops off and do all that stuff before I started today's video. I wanted this to just be a decorating video and um, so that is what it's going to be. Right here above my sink I have this blue toile valance. I love it but I really wanted to go with a neutral look or more of a neutral look and I felt like that blue just was not giving me that neutral vibe. So I will be switching that curtain out here shortly. Since I have to stand up on the countertops for this, I'm definitely going to do this first because I do want to clean my countertops after I have been standing on them. So I'm just switching out the valance and this is a valance that I did make myself and it was fairly easy to do. I just did a couple gathers and then um, pulled that up to give it that French look. I wish I knew the correct name of this type of valance. and. I just cannot think of it off the top of my head right now, but I really love this look. It's very soft and pretty, and I think it's very fitting for the style that I'm trying to go for in today's video. Since I have so many whites here in the kitchen, I wanted to warm things up over here by my stove. And for that, I'm going to be using some cutting boards and these are functional as well. Um, I have so many cutting boards in my kitchen. I don't use these, but these look so pretty up here on the backsplash. And I do believe that I got that first one in the front at Hobby Lobby and then that round one. I think I picked that one up at Home Goods, and I do not remember where I got the darker one, but those 
beautiful vinegar and oil bottles I found at Home Goods, and then I have that salt and pepper shaker or salt and pepper holders that I found on Amazon and I will leave that linked in my description box the holder that they are all sitting in I found that at Hobby Lobby and I always get asked about my chandelier nightlight and I found that at Marshall's probably a good six years ago and I have not seen them anywhere since I'm gonna go ahead and place my bread box back here on the countertop and I did make this bread box. I used some of those appliques that I purchased from that same store and then I just used a drawer hole for the top and then I stenciled and painted the bread box and I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And then over here, I'm going to have this cute little stand with the bunny and then I just have this little cage that I placed some moss and some artificial eggs in and I do believe I got those eggs at Hobby Lobby and that cute little bunny stand I got that at Home Goods. I'm using more of that wood color over here on this wall with my canisters. These are my absolute favorite canisters ever. I love these. They are so pretty. And I did find these at Kirkland's and then I used my Cricut machine to make these beautiful little labels. And I love these. And then I have some milk glass teacups that I place in here for measuring cups. I found these adorable kitchen hand towels at Home Goods a few weeks ago before I even knew how I was going to decorate in here, and these work perfectly. They add just a touch of color in here, which is absolutely perfect. And I'm gonna place one over here on my oven door, and then I'm gonna place the other one over here on my kitchen island. Now I'm just going to finish things off in here by putting the rest of the stuff back out on the countertops that I do use quite often. I have Rocco's Treats over here, which is my dog, and then Kirby's cat food, which is my kitty. And he heard <laughs> the rustling of the jar and he thought he was about to get fed. So I had to quickly show how cute he looked. I really wanted to give that farmhouse cottagey feel in here and I love the chicken wire and that gives that farmhouse look. These are some hydrangeas that I found at Michael's a couple weeks ago and I loved these. I love that cream color and I thought they would look perfect here on the table in this basket. 
So when I went into Michael's to find these, I actually ran into a subscriber and I was so incredibly happy to see her. If you are watching, say hi in the comments, but I, it was just, it made my day. And if you do happen to see me out in public, I would love it if you just came up and said hi. I think it is like the coolest thing ever. But um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that she made my day and it was just a wonderful experience. So here are the hydrangeas in this little basket here. And I just think they look simple and pretty and they add the perfect touch of something spring here on the table. When I was at Hobby Lobby picking up some crystal knobs for that dresser that I painted, I saw these really pretty hydrangeas and I just loved them. They do look more real than some of the other florals that I've seen in there and I had to pick some up because I knew that they would look so pretty sitting up here on my china cabinet and they do. They're just gorgeous and they were 50% off. so. I felt like I scored a big time with this one. With all that decorating, I am going to take a quick coffee break and I really wanted to share this new espresso machine with you. I have been loving it. If you know me, you know how much I love my coffee and I love making fancy drinks and this one definitely does it all. It has a coffee grinder up here and I'm gonna show you how to make a quick shot or two of espresso. After I place the beans into the bean box at the top, I set my grind level between five and 10. Today I am making a double shot, so I went ahead and chose the double shot for the grinds. And now I'm just removing the port of filter and tamping down on the grinds, making sure they are nice and even. Next, I'm going to insert the port of filter on the right side, and then I'm going to hit the double shot espresso. I have been having so much fun with my Cytus espresso machine. I have been making these specialty coffees every single morning and they taste so incredibly delicious. So go ahead and click the link down in my description box so you can experience these wonderfully tasting espressos, lattes, whatever you choose to make with this espresso machine. Now that my coffee break is over, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my decorating here in the family room. And I am not gonna overdo it in here. I wanted to keep it pretty simple, but I will definitely be adding a little bit of color in this area. I really loved how this mirror and the shutters looked up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep those where they are. And then I'm going to be adding a swag that I had in my kitchen area previously. And I'm just gonna place it right here below the mirror.
since I won't be using my fireplace again for quite some time, I'm going to add a little bit of light and warmth over here by placing some candles here in the corner. And I do get asked about that fireplace green quite often, and I did find that at Hobby Lobby. I was going with mostly neutrals, but I did have color up on the mantle, so I thought that it would look so much better if I took the colors in that floral swag and kind of added it over here on my sofa. So I did have these floral printed pillows in the other room, and I thought I would just swap out the throw pillows. So I'm going to take those white and beige pillows and place them on the green couch, and then the floral printed ones with the pinks and the sage green and peach color I'm just gonna place them here and I just think it did the perfect trick it was not overwhelming with a ton of different colors and crazy it still gave it that neutral look and then I will be decorating this mirror tray that I have in front of the sofa I'm going to go ahead and keep it pretty simple over here as well. I had this little candy dish. Today I'm going to be using it for a candle holder. And I got the candy dish at Home Goods a couple years ago. I think it's so cute with those bunnies. And then I'm going with that same peachy pink color. And I did find a candle that I have had. I believe I got it last season. But the color is perfect. And then I have some florals that I'm adding to it just to give it more of a spring look. I normally don't decorate over here, but I did have this garland and I didn't really want to put it away. So I thought I would kind of hide some of the electronic stuff up here. My husband definitely lets me do everything decor wise in this home and he wanted a big TV. So he got his big TV and I am not going to complain about it at all. But if I can hide just a little bit of that, what's going on on this pretty buffet table, I'm going to do it. So I went ahead and just added that fern garland up here. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope it has inspired you to bring out some spring decor and start decorating. I definitely had so much fun doing that here in my home. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.